what what I'm going to do is I'm yeah. sitting up here with the computer on, and what I want okay. you to do is I want you to tell these fool, I mean these people, what you done did. Just just explain the whole process. Okay, they, you lied. So go on now. Okay, so well, last year I requested the judge, I mean the sheriff's oath of office and his all his bond and insurance information. So I've been having it. So when the violation occurred. Uh, not too long ago, I pulled out all that information. He had a bond, a public official bond. He had like several bonds in there. One was like a hundred million. So anyway, I sat down. I created. Um, I looked up the requirements for all the things that you have to put into making a claim against the bond. It was just like you know the claimant, the date, you know, give a description of what happened, and you know what kind of relief you're seeking. So it was pretty simple. Probably about two pages. I put all the different violations of his oath of office. I put the amount, and the way that I came up with the amount is because I already had a reservation of rights on file, and it was like uh, for every 15 minutes, it was $250,000 of fine. So I just calculated that for how long they had me on the side of the road for like an hour and um, 30 minutes. So it was like a million dollars, and then I times it by three. So uh, it's been assigned a claim number with the insurance company, and it's been assigned an adjuster. And I'm just waiting. So and you I can tell me, that they received it. Yeah, are you telling me this sheriff had several bonds and one of them was for $100 million or a million? What, 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 talk to me. Yes. Yes. He had a public official bond. That didn't have a whole lot of amount, but that's the one that I did the claim against anyway. Okay. Um, I had to put the bond number. You know, it's with a great American insurance company usually, out of Ohio. And, you know, it's definitely going to great American insurance company. Uh, they usually do things like mobile homes and things like those type of bonds. But you're going to find it being with one of them companies. Okay. And that reason why he's probably with great American, because he probably already had to switch to another company because of people going after his bond. But I just, the reason why I'm doing this, because I told people that these officials are bonded. And that all you got to do is file a claim. But see, the document that we did, now I'm going to explain this, so now I'm going to take over. But the document okay. that we did, that document does one thing. It doesn't go after the bond. The document says, hey, I don't know the number of the bond, so it's going to be called Doe number one. And I don't know the number of the insurance company. It's going to be called Doe number two. And now I'm going to do interrogatories to get that information. And because I get to do interrogatories, y'all going to give me that information, but we go going to court based on y'all failure and our refusal to give me that information. So I'm suing y'all because y'all didn't give me the bond information because as you just helped everybody to understand, they have a right to file a claim. And they deny you the right to file a claim, you go after that bond. You go after the insurance company for their agent not following policy. Go ahead. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, with the judge, with the judge, I did do her claim against her in small claims court, and um, so that other judge just hurry up and dismissed it. So, but that judge who dismissed it, she said that if I kept moving forward, then she would, um, I would, she said I would be sanctioned and thrown in jail. And I told them that I object and I didn't agree. But she wrote it on the paperwork anyway. So anyway, I filed a notice of appeal. So when the judge found out that I filed a notice of appeal, she now put in a motion for me to be sanctioned in jail because I disobeyed the order. But so I wrote back and explained to them that the, uh, I have a right to appeal. And, and you have a right to redress. Um, right. I, I, I put that in there. I have a right to appeal and I have a right to redress. And that they were only focusing on one part of my claim, which was that she is a employee for a for-profit organization. I said they failed to acknowledge anything about she never was, uh, gave me her bond information. Exactly. So, okay, so here's the thing. Let me ask you this so that you need to understand. Were you going after her bond or were you going after the judge? Both. I, well, I was only going after the judge, but also in relief, I was talking no, about her uh, obligation bond. No, you have to go after the bond. You can't go after the judge. They're immune. That's why the judge was talking about she was going to sanction you. Okay? Okay. Well, Judges I, are immune. Yeah, I made a claim. Okay, but, I made a claim that she was an employee for a for-profit organization. For-profit organization, which means she's not immune. Yeah. 
that's what you were saying. I get it. I understand. I'm okay. the one who told y'all that. Right, right, right. absolutely. Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right, yes. so I'm so, about to stop. The, hold on. Let me stop the video so that I can let these people go because I just wanted them to hear that this is – I tried to tell them this is what they need to be doing. We're going to be talking more about this soon, y'all. Got to go.